Hi guys, Rick Damoth at Cowtown, Cuba, Missouri. You know, we just traded for about a nice, a heart trailer that, that I've had the opportunity in a long time. Come in on a Murhau. It's got a 20 foot short wall. Uh, the trailer's large, it's not, it's not for everybody, but it's set up guys for people that are gonna go and stay. Closets galore. Uh, we'll bring it around here as we, we go through this, we'll show you it's got a fireplace for backup heat. It's got your flush screen television. It's all solid wood. I would guess it to be solid maple. There is no in this trailer. Um, this trailer is, uh, the interior is put in by a company called Trail Boss. Good reputation, good quality. Uh, I mean, not everybody can spend $200,000 on a trailer. You know, this trailer is, is a high-end trailer. The quality is good. Price is right. Um, we're going to walk you through it to kind of show you some of the benefits and, and features of this trailer. And uh, I think everybody, everything's going to be here that you want. you got a couch that's going to make you into a bed. And it ap actually appears to be real leather. Okay, you're going to come on this side. you got a dinette here. And it appears to make a bed also, and again, leather couches. And this looks like it's true leather. You've got real nice coverings here. Don't know how exactly how it works, but you can be able to raise it up and down. Yeah, it's got a string on it. I didn't realize that. That looks good. All the diamonds in set here along the top. Solid wood valances. Real leather here. Look at the wood. I mean, there is no vinyl wrap on this trailer at all. It's that type of quality. You've got another television that's going to pull out here and swing around so you can view in the bed. You've got your storage above your, uh, your windows, storage above the, the front of the trailer, storage on this side. And let's see what we got on this side. More storage on this side as well. Storage above the top here. Your walls are soft touch. All that means it's just easy maintenance. The flies get in here, which they do, and they poop on stuff. You can clean it off. The kids open soda. You can spray it down, wipe it off. They've even, the, the, the ceiling is the same way. You know, quality, quality, quality. And I want you to look at the size of the crown molding. You talk about going the extra, the extra with it. You can see it right here. Quality, quality, quality. You know, Sean, show them the floor. Instead of just a standard vinyl floor that run this crossways, is that cool or what? Now back up here so we can show on this too. I want you to look at the how they come in here with these cuts underneath this. Lights here in the floor. Fireplace here. DVD, stereo system, stereo system, DVD system. Uh, let me look here. That setup says Dish TV. So this tells me this trailer is set up with a uh, satellite system. Okay, more storage up here, access. This tells you the trailer has a generator system in it. Uh, let's see if we've got any gas. We'll try to... Okay, we got the generator system running. Everything's set up there. We come through here. Okay, now let's go to here. More storage here. Oh, look at here. Now what's this called? Spice Rack. Spice Rack. All right, that's a good name for that. We've got that as well. Come around here. Got a large microwave. May even be a convection oven. The size of it, I'm gonna tell you, it is a convection oven. It says right there, convection oven. Okay, you got nice covers here for your dual sinks, and they happen to be copper, hammered, hammered copper. So again, another upgrade. Bronze colored uh, sink faucets. Set up here for your recessed uh, cooktop here. Two burners, and lots and lots, of, lots and lots of uh, drawers. Okay, now this appears to be bigger than a 6.0. This looks like this is probably an eight cubic foot refrigerator. Another upgrade. Oh, let's see here. Freezer on top with an, with an ice maker. 
there's an upgrade. It's just upgrades, upgrades, upgrades all over this camper. Notice how it's all set in here. A lot of these guys have put a, put a, uh, a vinyl sticker. This is not. This is actually, I mean, it looks like maple to me. Okay, I'm going to come in here. Okay, we're going to go. This is a hang closet, fully lined. Double hang closet. Another double hang closet in here as well. You have your soft touch here. Let's look here. I'm going to come in here. All right, come on in here, Sean. Guys, another set of places to put your uh, towels, your, your wash your washcloths, my wife would say. I say wash rags. She says washcloths. Okay. Really nice uh, wraparound showers, kind of stone colored. Okay. Then we're going to come here. Another set of hanging closets. Another set of hanging closets. Another set of hanging closets. And another set of hanging closets. Guys, this trailer is set to go and stay in. You want to go out west, you want to go up east, you want to go to these places, you can you can do that in this trailer. I mean, it's really made to uh, to be comfortable in. That you get a big hanging mirror on this side. All right, you got. Uh, okay, let's look down here. You're gonna have uh, heat down here. So you're going to your floor heat for your furnace, and then you're going to come in here. Now all your, your covers here, again, maple and finished. So you have ducted AC, and here's your ducts in here as well. So ducted AC, I see ducted AC, ducted heat up over the bed as well. So we're talking about quality, quality, quality. The width of the door here. You got double sliders, they just come over here locked together. You know, the same way uh, that will separate from the bathroom. The bathroom's got exactly the same thing. And notice these doors too. Solid, solid maple doors. Uh, again, just a, just a step more of quality. You know, this is a trailer, guys, that, that you got lots of years in it, lots of life. Whoever had it took excellent care of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know more than what you'd want than what this trailer's got set up in it. Um, I think we also had a pass-through door. You know, what we're looking through now is the pass-through door. You want to back up, Sean, let me show them this. All we did was step from the bathroom back in the horse compartment. Again, soft touch on the door, chair rails here on this door, all solid finished. You step back here, guys. This trailer is extra tall. Ceiling's fully insulated. The pads are in great shape. Full flow through dividers for the here at their shoulders and at their heads. Uh, drop down windows in front of the horses. Drop down windows at their butt side. Double wall, completely rubber lined. Slam latch lockers. Um, they go to the back out. You have a uh, a head protection here for them as well. Um, I don't have enough good to say about it. You got a full stud divider here on the bottom of the on the bottom. So if you want to use that front stall for storage, you you can do that as well. Uh, dividers can come completely out if you want to haul a four wheeler inch. You can do that. Mares and babies, you can do that. Uh, you got an extra set of hooks hanging up here on this wall, so you can put your halters, bridles, ropes, whatever you need. Extra storage there. Uh, I mean, this is the inside of the trailer. We'll take you outside and show you the quality of that as well. It's as, it's as good outside as it is inside. I wanted to bring you up here and show you this, is, this has got an iron or what I call aluminum clad awning. And not only is it aluminum clad, but it's also power. So instead of having two people to put this dude out, one person. So if you're if a storm's coming, you don't have to have your husband. Just come here and push the button on this. This is how simple this works. It's all power. Now, how is that? There's, there's nothing, nothing to it. It's got your slide-out step underneath it. It's fully armor-plated all the way to the back. Got wide steps 
wide step here. So you don't have to come in right to the living quarters. You can come into this end of it as well. Step right into here where the closets are at. Kick your muddy boots and stuff off in there. You have uh, 110 power. So if you want to set out here, uh, put you a box fan or something like that, you could do that. Outside speakers for the radio. Okay, here's a, here's a huge thing. Here's the foundation of this trailer. Okay, you've got 17.5s and they're Michelin's. And they're excellent, they are excellent tires. Aluminum wheels, it's all set up here. I mean, this is, this is ready to go. Aluminum frame, aluminum floor. <clears throat> Anybody can reach the drop down doors behind. So you can drive down the road with those locked in position as well. Horse ties on both sides. Outside load light, uh, hay rack up on the top. Come around here in the back side of this. It's a one hand operation to open this up, to close it. One key locks the entire trailer. And you have back up here with a combination lock. We'll open this side. There's your rear tack, bridle hooks, bridle hooks, adjustable saddle racks, adjustable blanket bars. All the walls are lined with, with a carpet so you know, it doesn't look worn at all and it will wear on your equipment because it's not rubbing against raw aluminum. Okay, you got all kinds of load lights, interior lights, LED lights low, LED lights high, which is a, which is a huge advantage. LED basically what we're talking about is being lifetime lighting. Here's your hay rack, ladder I should say, and again the full armor plating down the side of the trailer. Not only is that really nice in appearance, but it makes the trailer more rigid, which makes the trailer last longer. Okay, you're set up here with a, uh, a gasoline owning uh, generator, so that's set up, ready to go. You have your manger storage here, manger storage here, your landline ties in right here. Okay, if you're, if you're short, you've got a step right here that reach up here and turns the, that can actually reach those uh, drop down feed doors. This is the back side of your refrigerator. This is your water heater. Come around here in front, Sean, let me show them this. I mean, they run that plating all the way to here. You got a gasoline generator, and normally you just have small tanks when you have a gasoline generator. But this has also got your bigger propane tanks, your uh, your battery system here, hydraulic jack. Let me look at this. Dual batteries. Okay, your 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 brake system on this is electric, electric or hydraulic. So whoever owned this trailer knew exactly what they were doing. I mean, it's just upgrade, upgrade, upgrade on this trailer. Uh, hydraulic brakes, but they'll operate off of brake control. So you have the best of the best. Uh, stainless steel nose on the front of the trailer. It looks like the trailer spent lots of time uh, inside stored because the graphics are still bright. They're not peeling on the trailer. The graphics are still really bright. Uh, it looks like they're trail riders, and that would make that would make sense to me, because it looks like a trail riders trailer set up to go, to take the longer trips out west, and to be comfortable. The trailer's priced right, and and it won't last long. I can tell you that. So give us a call at Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri. Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri. Ask for Sean. Ask for uh, Chris, or I can help you. My name's Rick. Any one of us three can help you with this trailer. Again, uh, it's a Hart trailer. I believe it's a 2008, might be a 2007, but I believe it's a 2008. Class all aluminum. And again, 17.5, 16 ply, uh, Mitzler radio tires, generator, hay rack, upgrade interior. This trailer's got it all, got it all. Anyway, thank you.